Good afternoon, this is Bob Icino coming to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago. Talking FX, let's talk currency futures and let's talk about the yen, which was up about a half a percent today. The yen is now completing its second down week. So while that isn't a complete turnaround for one of the strongest majors that we've seen in 2018, the trend does seem to be weakening in terms of yen strength versus the U.S. dollar, which is obviously what the futures contract is based off of. So the second down week in a row for the yen, uh, even though we had an update today, we weren't able to erase that. Now the trade tariffs, which is the talk of all financials market, is not immune to the effect in Japan and therefore the yen can weaken off of just this particular extension of trade tariffs and the potential trade war that follows it. What we have is a situation where that entire region could weaken. Now while Japan and China don't have a massive, massive uh, trade deficit in one way or the other, they're pretty much even on trade if you price it in US dollars, the entire region suffers, Australia, New Zealand, uh, Vietnam, that entire Pacific Rim, which includes Japan, can weaken if this were to actually become a full-blown trade war with tariffs implemented so that prospects for the Japanese economy diminish as this particular type of conflict accelerates or exacerbates into the trade war that some people have threatened. The dollar itself has been mixed. We have the dollar index weaker, but it is still above 90, which is a critical level, and still above its 50-day moving average. Since that is the biggest pair the yen trades against, obviously if the dollar is weaker, the yen could be stronger and vice versa. But overall, while we are lower, that is still in a stronger trend for the dollar index, which is a little surprising. We did have Jerome Powell speaking today, chairman of the Fed, and he did talk still along the same tones of rate hikes are still appropriate, even though there's no inflation. We had a non-farm payrolls this more, uh, number this morning, which showed some wage growth, but not more than was expected. And Jerome Powell seemed to be playing off of that. So with the dollar mixed, the trade tariffs, the trend in the end may be turning lower after again having been one of the stronger ones for the year. This is Bob Aichino talking yen futures from the CME Group trading floor here in Chicago.